What's going on guys? I'm TieFly85 and today we talk Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom, The Mist, and GameStop Revisited. Let's get started. What's going on guys? t rex 87 here with MG Knights. So, before we jump into things, um, I do want to just uh, reiterate, uh, myself and Typhoon 85 um, we are doing a small giveaway. Um, it's just a, a mystery box of 10 Funko Pop figures. It's going to be from Amazon. Um, that's going to be happening next Sunday. And basically what I have decided, I know since this isn't like an official contest, the rules can kind of evolve a little bit. Um, you must be a subscriber. You must re leave a real comment in our videos um, to be chosen. It can't just be like comment or just like a, a you mashing on your keyboard leaving comments. Uh, one comment per video, please. Uh, and uh, I guess the only other thing that I have decided is basically the video with the most comments throughout the week um, is going to be the one that actually gets chosen for the drawing. So I want to give as many people a chance to uh, to win as possible. Um, so the, the, that's basically the rules. Is basically, like I said, video with the most comments is going to get chosen. I'm going to we're going to pick a random comment on our stream next Sunday on our live stream. And that person we will get in touch with, and we will, uh, and we will get you your prize. So, with that out of the way. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of MG Nights. Now, today what I want to go ahead and talk about is the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer and a few other things, but let's go ahead and start there first. Is it just me, or did anybody notice some massive, huge, uh, basically, comparisons overall to Jurassic Park The Lost World? Because I don't know about you, but I sure did a lot of it. I mean, you basically have someone who says, I'll never go back to the island, going back to the island, and then when they're on the island, there's just a, a lot of crazy stuff. So you all, were, I'm sure you all have seen The Lost World Jurassic Park. And in that, it's basically them trying to get them to go back to the island to basically research the animals. Well, then when they're on the island, Engine comes in and basically tries to take all the animals off the island. So basically, it, it literally sounds like the same concept, except now they're trying to save the dinosaurs from impending doom. So I think it's still, I mean, I definitely am still going to see it. It looks really awesome. I mean, definitely a lot more dinosaurs like there was in the Lost World, because that's the first time that we really saw a lot of dinosaurs, I would say. So it's definitely cool to see them kind of going back to that kind of aspect of it. But I would say overall, I really did like the trailer. It's really interesting to see how Jurassic Park is kind of mirroring itself from like you have the original Jurassic Park to Jurassic World and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom to the Lost World so it's kind of I don't know it's really interesting to me if you guys have any comments on it or do definitely see the same kind of concept that I am talking about with the comparison between the Lost World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom let me know down below I'd love to hear your thoughts on it I would have to say one of the things that I'm most excited for when I did see the trailer was Jeff Goldblum reprising his role as Ian Malcolm because because I don't know about you guys, but in the original Jurassic Park, and then when he did The Lost World, I loved it. I thought his character was great. So I'm really excited to see him come back. Also, too, I did hear that there were some rumors that potentially Dr. Grant, played by Sam Neill, may have potentially been seen on the set. So that would actually be pretty freaking amazing. I don't know if that's actually true or not. It could have just been a rumor, but I did see it flying around, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think would you be excited to see Ian Malcolm and Dr. Grant in the same movie it, it just I think it would be pretty awesome to see them both honestly all right and moving off the next on my list I want to talk about the Miss season one now I know I did actually make a video that was kind of reviewing the Miss season one but I wanted to go ahead and clarify and clear up some stuff that was said in that video that I want to go ahead and basically talk about now. Now in that video I did say The Miss Season 1 was a really good show and you should definitely all go see it and it, it just is, the Season 1 is available right now on Netflix if you do want to watch it. But as far as it goes I have to let you guys know that I finished the season and it is crap. Like I apologize if any of you did end up liking it but it's horrible. I can't, I, I just, I can't get over the fact of like how it differs so much from what the movie with Frank Darabont tried to pull off 
and what the TV series had to drag out for that. I just, there's just no way to replicate what Frank Darabont did with The Mist. Like, it was just an amazing movie, and I don't think anybody can argue that it wasn't an amazing movie for an adaptation of a Stephen King book. I think, hands down, it was probably one of the best, honestly next to maybe the remake of Stephen King's It that just recently happened, which was a huge phenomenon. And I just don't understand how this even got greenlit or even got anything, honestly. I would just highly recommend if you guys want to have a good laugh and see a really horrible show, or maybe you want to recommend a really horrible show to somebody you don't like or something like that. I mean, I don't really know. The show's horrible. Like, I... I, I would highly recommend don't watch it, and if it ends up disappearing after season one, like, you didn't miss anything. So we'll definitely say that you did not miss much. I honestly don't even know what they were even thinking, honestly. Like, there's nothing that comes close to comparing to the actual movie that Frank Darabont made of The Mist. Like, you just, you would have to, like, make it identical to what that movie was, because it was, like, a super phenomenon. Like, that movie, the ending of that movie was just so captivating, and... It was just like the first time we'd ever seen anything like that on film that was just so like mind-blowing in that moment. So for all of you who've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. For all of you who haven't, I don't want to say it to ruin it for you. Definitely go watch The Mist by Frank Darabont because it is amazing. Now the TV show that's adaptation of the Stephen King book, The Mist, it's horrible. Don't watch it. I would highly not recommend it. Do not watch that show. It. it I, just, I just wanted to clarify that. The Mist season one, Horrible. I hope they do not continue that show. Uh, if they could bring it back with a reboot and go nitty gritty like they did with the movie and Frank Darabont, I think that they could probably have a winner on their hands, but they just... It was horrible. Do not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but alright, let's move on. I apologize. I went a little ranty there for a moment, but let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Alright guys, well with that out of the way, I did end up going to revisit another GameStop because I was really super excited about all of the changes that were happening with GameStop. If you haven't seen my video, the future of GameStop and how they're evolving, I'll link it up right over here. Definitely go check it out. Now one of the things that was mentioned in our Sunday live stream, if some of you did watch it, if any of you didn't, go check it out. But one of the things T-Rex did mention is, you know, was the picture in the video from something I took or did I find it on the internet? Now I did find that on the internet but I did have a chance while I was there picking these up to go and actually take a picture. So I'm going to put that in right here. So as you can see, I mean it's definitely a huge massive change. Like that's that's like a big front section of the store. It's crazy to see all the changes that are happening. But anyways while I was in there they did end up having a bunch of the Funko Pop Black Friday deals still happening. Uh, the lady at the store said that they had gotten them a week late, so a week after Black Friday, and nobody even knew that they still had them. So I was pretty stoked to be able to pick up three more of these. So I just wanted to go ahead and unbox these and let's see what we got, because I'm super stoked. I mean, the last one with the Mega Man Chase Edition, if none of you saw that, definitely go check it out. It was pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and open these up. All right, and first up we have, dun, 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 dun. oh wow. First one up right out of the bat, we do have Predator. Wow, look at that, Predator. It's 8-bit pop Predator, so that's pretty awesome. Pretty stoked about that. I do really like the Predator, and it goes perfectly with my uh, horror collection that I'm trying to build up. It does also come with a lanyard keychain which is pretty cool and then the socks this time around oddly enough are another pair of batman socks just in a different color so that's a little strange so i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but uh all right so uh here's another one unopened let's see what we got now the cool thing is like some of these could potentially be chases just like the last one for it I apologize if the noise was really loud right there with the opening of those, but let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's a limited chase edition. The Joker. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. I got another limited chase edition of the Joker. I'm super stoked. Look at that. Superheroes DC, 8-bit pop. Wow, that's really cool. I'm super stoked. I was not expecting that by any means. I wasn't even expecting the first one, so now to have a second one? And then it comes with the same thing, the lanyard keychain in the Joker, and then the same thing, Batman socks, but in this time a different color variation. So pretty interesting again there. I guess I'm gonna have a lot of Batman socks, so I guess when the Batman movie comes out, maybe I'll wear the Batman socks. All right, last one here. Sorry again if it's loud, I do apologize. Here's the last one, let's check it out. I'm pretty soaked and excited. Let's see what we got. Ooh, and the last one is Street Fighter. And we have Ryu. Look at that, 8-bit pop. And these are all exclusive to GameStop, obviously. So you can only find these there, which is, this is actually pretty cool. He's pulling off his little crazy move. <laughs> so I'd have to say, and then here we go with the lanyard keychain again. So kind of the same thing going on there. And then also the same pair of Batman socks, but now in orange and red. So it looks like I definitely will have plenty of socks <laughs> to uh, take my feel of the Batman socks, that's for sure. Wow, I'm really excited. I can't believe that I got a limited Chase Edition Joker. Like, that's pretty freaking awesome. And also, too, to add the Predator to my collection, I'm actually pretty super excited about. That should be pretty cool. And then also that Ryu, because... I mean, that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you did end up liking this episode, please go ahead and slap that like button. Also, too, if you're new here to the episode, me and T-Rex87 do post content here every Monday through Saturday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on. Make sure that you do not miss out. All right, guys, as always, I've been TieFly85, and always remember, stay awesome. I've got something to say. You should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings But you have to admit I already do Let's just break it down To you and me uptown